The ATR series is a widely used turboprop aircraft for both passengers and freight, which was initially created in 1988. The aircraft model was developed through a collaboration between Aerospatial, known as Avion de Transport Régional in French, or Aerie de Transporto Régional in Italian. The ATR-72 was derived from its predecessor, the ATR-42, which was initially manufactured in 1984. The absence of an auxiliary power unit, APU, is perhaps the most distinctive characteristic of the ATR-72. Energy functions are supplied to an aircraft by APUs when its engines are not operational. APUs typically operate an aircraft's electrical systems using single or multiple phase electric power systems. When passengers are boarding, APUs are used by nearly all commercial aircraft parked at the gate. They are indispensable, particularly in maintaining the aircraft's temperature at a comfortable level, regardless of whether the environment is exceedingly hot or frigid. The ATR family can generate electricity without the need for an APU by employing a propeller brake that prevents the propeller on the right engine from spinning. Nevertheless, the turbine continues to operate, ensuring that the aircraft is supplied with electrical power and air circulation. Hotel mode is the alternative term for this distinctive practice. According to Aviation Stack Exchange, the hotel mode is generally disliked. Nevertheless, it conserves the weight and space that the APU would otherwise consume. The device is situated in the cargo section of certain ATRs that are fitted with APUs. The term originates from the maritime sector, namely from the phrase hotel load. This refers to the total electrical power consumed by all non-propulsion systems aboard a ship. Hotel mode is not commonly used in Europe due to the fact that the majority of airports are equipped with ground power units, GPUs. This feature is not well received by numerous operators due to its potential for excessive noise, depending on proximity to the aircraft. Additionally, it consumes an excessive amount of fuel due to the engine's continued operation. It can also be hazardous if the propeller brake is in a state of disrepair and fails to maintain its grip on the propeller. The limitations of hotel mode were described by a forum user on the Professional Pilots Rumor Network. The user writes, Since every aircraft design decision is a compromise, the prop brake solution does have its limitations. Hotel mode cannot be used full-time at the gate, like a conventional APU. Typically, the ATR cannot be fueled while in hotel mode. Also, most rampers do not care to load bags through the aft service door with a noisy hot engine running 30 feet or so from them. Even though the prop brake can be a very reliable system, there is always the danger of the brake letting go and the propeller rotating with ground personnel in its vicinity. The ATR's boarding method is one approach to perhaps avoid safety issues about hotel mode. The front door is for loading goods. Most ATR 42 and 72 layouts call for passengers to access the aircraft through its rear door. A similar procedure will be used upon aircraft disembarkation. Certain airlines have requested aero bridges at airports to effectively operate airplanes with front passenger doors. Since most other turboprops come with APUs, hotel mode is a rare arrangement. Now why do you think ATR maintains this unpopular feature? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Please also take a look into our memberships to support us.